Shall I do it? Hey. <laughs> there it is. You know you're here now, folks. I've yep. done the thing. She's done the thing. That means <laughs> hello, everybody, and May the 4th be with you. We are celebrating Star Wars today. Yeah. <laughs> and because we're celebrating Star Wars, we're going to talk about all things Star Wars related. Am I right? Oh, we're doing all things Star Wars related. Oh, this episode just got so much better for me because I thought we were just talking board games. <laughs> well, board games is all things. Nothing else oh, matters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're going to go off on a tangent here, aren't we? We're going to talk about movies and TV. <laughs> Listen, I don't oppose to that. I, I am. I, we can have a four-hour conversation. I'm down for it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It, it is funny because like people, people um, just know that I like like people that I don't even like. They're not really close to me. They just know that I like Star Wars. Like they, I get sent pictures of like funny stickers on cars and stuff. It's like, oh, I thought of you when I saw this. Oh, that's, nice. <laughs> that's that's how Star Wars. How much of Star Wars rules my life? Yeah. <laughs> that people just know it's it's the Star Wars girl, you know. <laughs> It's cool. Worse things to be known as Annabelle than the Star oh, Wars gift. For sure. I love it. I love it. I, I get the coolest gifts also because everybody knows. And I'm so easy to get gifts because everybody knows. Just give me something Star Wars related and I'll be happy. It doesn't matter if it costs you 50 cents or if it costs you $300. I will be happy. Yeah. So don't spend $300. Just <laughs> get the yeah. gift. <laughs> well, I'm the same, needless to say. As, as you know, we do have that in common. I do love Star Wars. Wow. Star Wars is awesome. Maybe, maybe not as much as you, though, Annabelle. I feel I'm letting the side down behind me here compared to you behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my house is a Star Wars museum. I've told you that before. There is a video to prove it. Um, oh, I've seen the video. It is true. It is a Star Wars museum. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I'm very happy to, to live where I live. Um, but before we talk about Star Wars, we have to do our game because last time I showed you guys this little thing and uh, you were supposed to guess what game it was from. And it is from this war of mine, which has nothing to do, you would think, with guitars. But if you have this item in the game, it actually raises your morale, which is important in the game, right? Because you're going through a war, so you want to yeah. have high morale. So this is a very important item, guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, so if you guessed it, well, good job. Angela, give him a thumbs up. Does it work for you when you do it? Oh. No. Yeah, if you do both, it's a party. So I there would. you go. You guys are a whole party. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> and stay tuned because at the end of this episode, we're going to have, uh, you know, another game. But uh, we're going to start talking about Star Wars. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. The first thing I have to mention is uh, May the 4th, which is an important day for the Star Wars community, is also a very important day for, because... for me because I get older. Woo! <laughs> Actually, I get older um... every day, don't I? You couldn't, have, celebrate it. you couldn't have a, a cooler birthday, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty good having my birthday on Star Wars oh, Day. Okay, for sure. Yeah. All right, so um, let's see. Let's let's start talking board games. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. All right, so for sure I would have to mention Star Wars, the deck building game, because it is probably my favorite Star Wars game. Uh, it's fast-paced. It's um, short Easy setup, easy cleanup. Uh, it's got characters from the Star Wars, from the original uh, movies. You've got your Chewies and your Solos and your Luke Skywalkers and your Darth Vaders and all those, you know, your Leias, all the all the cool characters, my favorite characters. Um, and it does feel like you're, it's a deck builder. It's not a deck builder. I, it's, a, it's a card uh, management. Um, you're playing the empire versus the rebels and it does feel exactly like that like you're battling a huge empire when you're the rebels and if you're the empire you're crushing down the rebellion so <laughs> so i really love that one so that's the first one i will mention and i've mentioned it here before i'm sure you've heard of it um, but if you have not played it go play it and maybe I need to try it i need to try that one it's, it's yeah. all right what'd all you right. get 
what have I got? Let me just check my list because I put them in. I put them in order, kind of. So the first one uh, that I've got on my list is Star Wars Rebellion, which I don't know. Do you own that? Mm -hmm. You do. Um, I really liked it, but I knew I wasn't going to play it again, so I actually sold it. But that is a good. That is a good uh, Star Wars board game. It's got a lot of uh, miniatures and things in it, a lot of tiny pieces, but. Yeah, really good the way that it the way that it all comes together out of the box. Yeah, so we'll have to set up that one as well. But yeah, that one also you can play solo. There's a solo version on YouTube. I, I found a solo version of it. Um, yeah, it's not one I would play by myself, but it it was good in two player. I just knew Tracy wasn't going to play it. Wasn't going to play yeah, it. It's long. It's very very long. But yeah. the the story behind it is so good because you're if you're playing the rebels, uh, you you're, you have your hidden base that the empire is trying to find. So the whole game, the empire is trying to figure out where your base is, and they get information because of course the empire has spies everywhere, right? So the, every turn they get information and they start like, okay, it's not that one, it's not that one, it's not that one, and then they have this huge Death Star that moves around the board and destroys full planets, and if they catch you, yeah. It's, so it's yeah, it's yeah, it's a good. It's good. Thing definitely a good one like if you're a star wars fan and you haven't tried it at least try that one i would say yeah if you like long games <laughs> long yeah. intense games because that's intense but yeah, yeah. The, the premises are really cool how you have your characters and they all go on missions and stuff and it's yeah it's yeah. definitely a good one and it looks nice as well you've just reminded me like the characters like the artwork and it's really cool as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're on standees, they're not miniatures, the characters yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all the ships that you have in the in the space, because you, you in the whole universe, well, I, you know, all the yeah, whatever planets are there, you have all this uh, spaceships and they're tiny, but they're really cool. And the Death Star, the completed Death Star and the not completed Death Star. And, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a good one. It's a good one. And it wasn't on my list. We, I forgot about it. So oh, thank you for bringing it up. One. Yeah, no, I do like that one. I just forgot about it. Um, but the one that I did add was a new one that uh, just came out, which is Star Wars Unlimited, which is uh, another card game, um, more like a collectible card game, kind of like Magic the Gathering, um, where they, they have all of the movies and that's one thing that i really like about it is that you know you can you can have characters from anything in the in the star wars universe clone wars um the old movies the new movies anything you want you can have a, a deck build around that character and uh in the gameplay you have space battles and ground battles and you what you're trying to do is trying to defeat your opponent's base it is a two-player game kind of like magic the gathering um but it's new and it's uh you know, it's in, it's cool, and it's, it's actually a good game. I like it. Star Wars Unlimited. Yeah, you just reminded me of one that I forgot to put on my list, um, but that's brought it to mind, so I'll mention it later because I obviously didn't think of it for a reason, but I have but I have got it. Um, <laughs> my next one, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, which I think is, is it here somewhere? It's behind me. Um, I won't say I've played it a lot, but it's Pandemic. And as you know, if something's got pandemic attached to it, then I'm going to buy it. It's the least pandemic pandemic game that I think I've got. Probably that one and the 40K one are probably the least of the pandemic lots. But it had Star Wars and it had pandemic. So that's why I got it. You're right. It is the least of the pandemic pandemic games. And I love how you said that. I'm going to steal that quote. It's the least of the pandemic pandemic games. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but you still get the pandemic feel with, you know, all the connect connected uh, planets. Yes. Um, and then if you pull a card and it's a planet and it's already, it already has uh, enough droids there, then stuff happens like in pandemic, but it's not as bad as pandemic where you get an outbreak and, and the whole board fills out, fills up. I love board. that you remember all of the mechanics of things and you, you can explain them. And I'm just talking about how the game made me feel or <laughs> did I like it? Did I not like it? Wait, that's because you're the emotional one. 
and I am the practical, like the the you know, and, and that and, and that that's just it's the way. Good, like my, it's a good yeah, job. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm more like logistics and stuff like that, and you know, yeah. and, I, and everyone who watches us knows I suck at rules. Like rules, I learn them, I play the game, and then they're gone. Like unless I've played a game a lot, I'm not going to remember the even pandemic. Pandemic's my most played game, and even when I start Pandemic now, and I've played that game a, a lot, like a lot, <laughs> and I would still need to, like, which version are we playing? What? I still need to like go over it again. It just, rules just do not stick in my brain at all for yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, unless it's stupidly basic like Cat Lady, then I'll. I'll retain it. But if it, as soon as it gets a little complicated, I'm done. See, I'm the opposite. I don't know how they stick in my brain. But even like sometimes, you know how you have, you once you play all these games, you know, it's impossible to remember every rule. And a lot of times, like one of the things that I, I will always not be sure about is how many cards do I start with or how many resources do I start with? But then I always throw a number. And then I look and I got it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, how? how? <laughs> so. yeah, and there's a lot of crossover, right? When you've played a lot of board games, they use the same mechanics or mm -hmm. similar mechanics. So you do start to have that sort of retention. But, right. yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's true. It's just it's little details that it's hard to. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I make a lot of mistakes. I mean, even my viewers will tell me that I make mistakes. <laughs> I mean, I'm human, right? And some of these yeah. games, there's a lot to keep track of, you know? For um, sure. So, but, yeah, I think to me the important thing is have fun. You know, if you mess up the rules, yes. you mess up the rules. So what? It's, it's you know what, Annabelle? Every board gamer has messed up the rules. So anyone jumping in the comments and going, rah, 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 the rah, rah, they've done it too. We all do it. We've I've played entire games and we've had the rules wrong. We still had an absolute blast. That's what matters. Just have fun. Yeah. But yeah, of course. I mean, I we try, right? Because we we're yeah, trying to teach others. So uh, I feel like a responsibility to try and get them right. But I'm not going to get them right all the time. Unfortunately, no. I might forget. Or or there's combos that oh I didn't see it, but a viewer might have seen it, and you know, I, yeah. <laughs> so, but you know, the important thing is get a feel of the game and then you go and you play it and you make your own mistakes and you'll be fine <laughs> you'll have fun <laughs> yeah sure. uh all right so yeah but uh i would say you are not horrible with rules and one of the things to, for me is that you start talking about a game and then it's like you refresh my brain it's like oh yeah again this game that game so please don't stop because yes it does help uh, all right, my next one is one that I actually do enjoy because of the story of it, and it's uh, Star Wars Outer Rim. I don't know if you've played that one before. Mm -mm. No, uh, I know it, but I haven't played it. Yeah, so in Star Wars Outer Rim, you're a smuggler, and I do enjoy uh, this. This smugglers, let me tell you, they don't stop working. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one one job after another. Like, um, I, I guess because I love Firefly so much. Um, so to me, this game is, is kind of, to me, it's like a mix of, I know it's not Firefly themed, but I can just picture the Firefly crew doing what Outer Rim is trying to do, which is, you know, smuggling things, contraband and, and getting paid for those kind of jobs and then having adventures and, you know, having to talk to this person to get through the door, to get to the other and da, 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 and then do it again <laughs> until you yeah. become uh, the most famous smuggler of them all. Um, but it's set in the Star Wars universe, which gives you the Star Wars, uh, you know, lore, which to me is great because I love it. Um, and uh, you, you, you know, you, you feel also you start with like a like junk ship <laughs> and, and as the game progresses and you get better and you earn more money, you can make it better and you can see it grow, you can see the development. And, and to me, that's kind of like an RPG element to it where you're leveling up your stuff. So I love that as well. So, and you can play solo. So it's, uh, it's a fun one. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I haven't played it, but obviously I know, I know about it because um, Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good All one. All right. My next one. I've had a little bit of a cheat here, Annabelle. I was thinking about some of my most precious gaming Star Wars memories. And I'm going to throw in 
vintage traveler role playing game in here. Oh. And you might not know, but in that in the book, it doesn't state that this is who they are. But Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in those books as starting characters. And oh. Luke Skywalker from memory, I haven't played it for years. I've still got all my books, but I haven't played it for years. Like Luke Skywalker, it says farm boy. But you can tell from the skills, from the stats and the skills that it's it's Luke Skywalker. And the same for Darth Vader. I can't remember what he's called, but um, they're both in there. And I'll tell you something, back in the early 80s, we had a freaking hoot with those uh, with those books and with those characters and the stories that I could tell of my gaming group and the things that we did uh, with those characters mixed in with with the vintage traveler were just some of the best gaming memories like really fun so is this like an rpg like a D, &D kind of game yeah it's an rpg so it, it is just books pen books pencil and paper okay but, um, but just the fact that those characters are in there and i know that some people probably don't realize that that's who they are but that's that's who they're meant to be it's an obvious nod to those characters that's what cool. a, a great game like so, I liked it, Annabelle, because of all the role-playing games at the time, Space Opera, RuneQuest, all those oldies, this one was super basic. Like okay. rolling the character was basic. The stats were basic. The skills were basic. Um, yeah, really, really good RPG. You know, it's funny how you mentioned that because we, I think us, we, we, we want, we create this, we keep evolving and making things so complicated and sometimes you just want to go back to basics and it's like, oh yeah. my gosh, you know, like it just basic be fun. Yeah. You don't need a hundred page rule book for something to be fun. It can be four pages. Right. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. hundred percent. And you know, there's, it's, there's times and there's times, you know, sometimes you want something immersive oh, and to have all that. But a lot of times it's like, you know what, this is fun without all the, Added, added sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of added sauce, the next one is a heavy one, but I love it. And uh, it's Star Wars uh, Imperial Assault, which oh, I is. Uh, this one. I yeah, one, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Descent's little brother, is <laughs> what I call it. So if you like Descent, um, Journeys in the Dark is what it, the original one was called. Or I don't know if they're all called that, but whatever. Descent, the the Final Fantasy game, then Imperial Assault is the same thing, but just slap a, a Star Wars theme uh, on it. Uh, and I've been running a, a campaign on the channel. I think uh, I th actually I think I finished the campaign. <clears throat> I did skip a mission because I messed up. <laughs> I forgot the rules and I pressed the wrong button and it told me you failed. And I'm like, wait, I did just press the wrong button. But um, it was a very fun campaign. It was in Hoth, uh, which is the icy planet, in case yeah. you know, you're know you not a Star Wars fan. Um, and yeah, the miniatures are awesome. I painted them all, and I had a blast painting them. Um, and uh, now I love playing it because when you, you, know, you you know have it on the table, it just looks great. And everybody looks like what they're supposed to look like, you know, and you have Darth yeah. Vader and Luke Skywalker and everybody. So it's really awesome. So. Um, yeah, I recommend that one. And if you want to check it out, go to the channel and check it out. It's there already for you to see. Yeah. Most of these games are on our channels, I think, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. In some form anyway. Yeah, I think yeah, so. You've, you've just reminded me of what a terrible friend I am, Annabelle, by why bringing that? that game up. And I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. I bought you two Imperial Assault packs. Okay. I think it was before we met maybe just after we met and my thing was i'm going to paint them for annabelle and i'm going to send them to her okay it just reminded me but handily enough annabelle my paints are out at the moment <laughs> so i might have to get them after uh, we finish recording and bring them out to remind myself to paint them and send them to you i would love that yeah mm -hmm. Bradley album, and I will I will let the viewers know these are Angela's paint the <laughs> and I play them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll have to do that. What a what a oh what a terrible friend. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My next one's got Dark Side in it, which is a terrible friend. Star Wars Dark Side Rising, which you also enjoy, don't you? I enjoy yes. it. It's 
pretty basic when you get down to it and it has that thing that you i think you mentioned it for another one but you feel like you're in the movie you feel like you are fighting all these forces as they're refreshing and you're trying to get to the end point of of like winning it's basic but good that one i re i really like i like the um the thanos one as well right thanos rising yeah. which is basically the same thing yeah and there's a batman one as well with the the joke the the, the batman who laughs last i don't know okay, that one I got, know that. It, yeah it has a joker uh big you know how you know how all of them have like a big figure that one's yeah, the yeah, joker yeah, yeah. and chains laughing and no, okay. that one got ruined and that unfortunately that one got ruined for me in the flood when i had a when i had a, a, a dog made flood in the house <laughs> <laughs> so um, I only played it once. I didn't like it as much as I like uh, Dark Side Rising, and I have not played Thanos Rising. I don't know what the difference is between Thanos Rising. Maybe one day I should check it out. <laughs> yeah, it helps if you like the universe, though, right? I'm not a big Batman fan either, but oh, I like. I like. Uh, I just Marvel. felt like it was more complicated. It was harder. A lot harder. Like it was, it was very punishing. And I don't mind when a game is hard, but I want to win. And <laughs> I think um, the yeah. one time I played it, it was we played it with like six players, and we got beat by the game so bad that uh, they were all new players. Like all of them were non non gamers, and I introduced them to the game. And after we played that one, nobody wanted to play another game. <laughs> oh, see, that's a bad game, though, isn't it? I mean, you've got to feel a little bit like you can win. There's nothing worse than being tranced by the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah when it, that's just bad game design, though. Yeah, when it turned uh, turn off game, uh, people that could potentially become gamers, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, no. of course. And, yeah. But, but um, the Star Wars one, the Dark Side Rising, is, is very simple, like you said. It's mostly yeah. just luck. It's dice rolling. There's a little bit of mitigation of the roles, depending yep. on what characters you got on your team. Although I do think that if you like are really unlucky at the beginning of the game you're going to have a hard time like if you don't yeah. get a team going it's tough i don't know if, if the thanos one is the same but i know the star wars one if, if you don't really if you're very unlucky at first darth vader is going to annihilate you because that's what he does right <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah. It's, a fun it's one of those games though where if you well i suppose all games are the same aren't they if you start from behind something and then you win at the end you feel more joyous you know that you've <laughs> that you've managed to do it um yeah, the, I, yeah that one will always be in my collection just because it's so mm -hmm. easy to set up and play and so yeah and the, and the miniature the big miniature is so good i remember last time when i played it and we played it recently here and uh we were losing I think Darth Vader had killed five of our guys. He has to kill 10 mm -hmm. to win. And we have to uh, kill seven of his guys to win. And we had two. So it was two to five. <laughs> and we still managed to flip it and, and win. So, yeah. yeah. And I bet it felt bloody great. <laughs> I thought we didn't have it. I thought, okay, we're, we're not going to make this. Let's play something else. But no, we stuck, it, we stuck through it because it's a fun game. You know, you just... Yeah. It's, it's light, it goes fast, you know, and then you're moving Darth Vader around, and then, oh, yeah. this stupid guy, he's facing me now, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Fun. Uh, let's see. So that was next on my list. I'm going to skip it, and I'm going to skip the next one on my list, with which was the Clone Wars. Uh, I do want to mention, uh, although I haven't played it, Star Wars, what is it, Legion? Legion? Yeah. I think it's Legion. Is that a miniatures game? Mm hmm And that's why I haven't played it because but I know it's very popular. And the miniatures, I I saw the miniatures and they look amazing. Like I I if I yeah. was more into those type of games. Is that uh, the one with all the big ships and things that you can buy? Like some of them are massive, like this big. Yeah. Yeah, no, I couldn't buy I that. Think so. Yeah, like I said, I haven't played it. I just I just looked. But I know there's one that has ships, and then there's another miniature game that has actual you know, characters, stormtroopers and stuff, and that one. And I don't know if they're the same <laughs> because, again, I haven't played it. But yeah. very, very cool. Um, yeah, I've seen the one with the ships. Like I saw someone's collection. I think it was on Pinterest. And it took up the entire room. There were that many like big ships and things crazy yeah you can really like I, I that's another reason why because that's just 
you can really go like crazy with that stuff and storage and money and time and yeah. <laughs> yeah. The more I've got into the board game hobby, the less interested I have become in those things. Mm -hmm. Like I used to be, if something was like a special Kickstarter and it had like extra miniatures and coins and all that, I'd be like, yes. But um, the older I've got and the more into the hobby I've got, the the less I like that, the more I like back to basics. Yeah. You know, cardboard I mean, and joyous. You're mentioning that. And I have right here, let me see if I can grab it. I just yeah. got a Kickstarter that, that I waited for like forever. And... <laughs> It, it had the box, and then it had all this. <laughs> what is that? It's just packs of stuff, and that's not even it. There's more over there. I, I grabbed a few that I can, and I'm like, where am I going to put all this? If there's, there better be room in that box for all this. I haven't opened it yet. I'm yeah, oh, there's it. nothing worse than that, is there? When they bring out a Bloom Special Edition thing and it doesn't fit in the box, and you end up with that gap. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. happens, happens, all happens all the time i know i love when games think about the insert and how to store yes. a game you have to store it you know you have to put it somewhere and you don't want it to get ruined they're like yeah. your babies <laughs> yeah, true i think you have one more than babies you. there's your babies no babies i think there was one more game you wanted to mention right um i was going to mention queen's gambit which I've never played i've never owned it Mm -hmm. But I know that it is like the pinnacle of Star Wars board gaming for some people. And, you know, they want it, but it's so expensive because it's uh, out of print. And then there was rumors they're going to reprint it, but the reprint never appeared. Um, I don't know whether that rumor is still a thing, whether they are going to do that. But, yeah, that seems to be a big one if you like Star Wars and board games. Yeah, I just looked uh, online and I uh, found it for like $500, $550. Um, you know, it's funny that it, it has such a great reputation because it's based on the, uh, what is it, 2000 movies, so episodes one, two, and three, and nobody likes those movies. Like, most Star Wars fans don't like those movies, but then this is straight. It's like you're playing the movies. Yeah. It really yeah. is. That, so that's why it's popular then. Yeah, but nobody likes those movies. That's what yeah. we know. <laughs> I have to say, I if given the choice, yeah, I would not buy something based on those movies. You see? I, I, yeah, I didn't like them. Me neither. As much as, obviously, the proper movies. Right. But yeah. I have to say, because I did get my hands on uh, the Queen's Gambit at a con. Uh, I was lucky enough. I... I was like a hawk, like when, because I, you know, I needed somebody to play with and somebody to put it together and teach me how to play because I wasn't going to read the rules. And I finally found somebody and I, <laughs> like, I'll play with you. Um, it's huge. Like we're talking. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, it is. Three-story building and you have to go up the uh, Queen of Adala's um, castle or whatever, wherever she was queen, <laughs> whatever building that was. Um, and and defend her, and then you have on another side you're play, you're fighting the the droids, uh, the 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 clunky droids are fighting the big defender droids that roll. Yeah. I don't remember their names. Yeah. Um, and then on the other side, you have three sides that you're controlling all at the same time. You're playing, uh, you're fighting Qui Gon and Obi Wan are fighting Darth Maul, and and there's one more side actually because there's a uh, yeah, and that same war where you're fighting Darth Maul, you have Anakin. Um, on the um, little Anakin on a spaceship that he stole in the movie fighting some stormtroopers or something. Uh, it's it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And I believe that you grab a card and it'll tell you like what parts of the movie are playing during a turn. So maybe you won't play all three. You'll play maybe two parts. And then on another turn, you'll play some others. But it's, yeah, I mean, it's... It's huge. I can see the appeal because even though I didn't like the movies, yeah. um, it's it, it felt so massive, you know. But that's another reason why I, I did have my eye on buying it for a while, but no. <laughs> yeah, it's costly, isn't it? It's costly. It takes a while to set it up, a while to take it down, a while to play it. No, we're not doing it. But it is very popular and it's out there and it's if you can play it, I was I recommend you play it at least once. You can say you have done it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. 
yeah, that was the last one on my list. Have you got any others? No, that, that was that was it for me as well. Tell me which one is your favorite Star Wars movie. Star Wars movie? Oh, don't do this to me. I'm going to say Empire because that's just pure gold. But I really, really like Rogue One. Okay. Like I really, really liked that movie. Yeah. yeah. I think Rogue One, um, uh, it's uh, – it shows you both sides of the coin uh, of the rebels, you know, <coughs> and it's a very emotional movie, even though, you know, the end of it, you still enjoy the journey. But yeah, yeah. for me, uh, Empire Strikes Back is also my favorite. Empire Strikes Back is, seems to be the winner amongst us. Yeah. Which one is your favorite movie? We want to know. And it's funny because I ask this a lot when I meet somebody and we end up, they find out that I'm a Star Wars fan. I always ask them. And I think it depends on people's age. Ah, uh, yeah, pr you're probably right there. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the younger, young, young, younger, like uh, the Ray movies. But then the the not so young, but not as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> they like the um, like, one, two, and threes. The clone ones, yeah. I I um I like the Ray movies. Me too. Like I know a lot of people hate those movies, but I like the Ray movies. And the, the reason I like the Ray movies is the effect that the, that had on little girls mm -hmm. is it's just priceless to me. Yeah. I mean, so if you think about the old movies, Star Wars and female characters, you know, you you've got basically one or two that spring to mind, and that's it. Yep. All men. And seeing little girls dressed as Ray, my granddaughter included, and seeing a strong, powerful, magical character like that, it's it's a good thing, you know. Yeah. I think that's why it got a lot of kickback. A lot of man babies on Twitter crying about it, you know. Oh, Ray, uh, women take up fifty percent of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> so. I think um, I think Ray is. Um... Is doing what Leia was doing, you know, but for us, you know, the, so I, I always looked up to Leia because she was, she, yeah, she was a princess, but she could stand her own. Yeah, strong woman. Yeah, for sure. Um, so uh, tell us about your favorite movie. Tell us about uh, what is, uh, it, it doesn't have to be a movie. It could also be one of the shows. Oh, there's there's so many good shows, right? So many good episodes of shows as well. Yeah, and um there's also anime or cartoons. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what to call them. But uh, animated series, I guess that's what they're yeah. called. Yeah. And uh, I just saw there's one more coming, actually, soon. To oh, really? Movie. Like a kid's one or, an, or a more adult one? It's something about the dark side. I don't remember what it's called, but... Um, I just saw the, uh, I was some, at someone's house and they were talking to me and then I see Star Wars on the TV and I'm like trying to listen, but not really, because I was really paying yeah, attention to <laughs> something about uh, two path to the dark side. So something about, oh, about that guy. So well. many though. How can you possibly ca like keep up? I'm trying to make my way through uh, Rebels and then there's Bad Batch, right? Then there's the one with the little baby Jedi's in it as well. If you're into that, um, yeah, there's there's a lot. I haven't even finished a Soki yet. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's good that there's a lot. There's that means that we can. This, the next generation is also getting some of what yeah. we only got movies, you know, and now it's the whole world, and that's that's great. I think it's it's awesome. Some are better than others, of course, but. Um, you know, expanding on the lore. And, so, and and I love that they are all, in a way, like they're checking to make sure that. Oh, they're interconnected. Yeah. So yeah, that is really good. I like mm -hmm. that with Marvel as well. They try and weave them in. For sure. For sure. Yeah. All right. So let's play a game, shall we? Ooh. We're going to play Guess the Game. So I'm going to tell you a little bit, <laughs> a little something about a game and you have to figure out what game I'm talking about. So. In this game, you are, let me see, you're going to build a town full of critters and then you're going to let other players come and visit. What game is that? It's a game where you're going to build a town full of critters and then you're going to let other players come and visit. If you know what game I'm talking about, 
just uh, write it down in the comments below. We'll let you know next time when we get together. Angela, the brain is going, it's going. Because I, I own a lot of games with critters in them, and I'm thinking, what ones do you build towns in and, and then get people to visit? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Would I know it? Do you think I would like? Do you think I know it? Yeah, I think you know it. But uh, you know, I won't tell you until next time. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. And it's not Star Wars related. I will give you that hint. Um, oh, okay. But this is Star Wars month, so I hope you guys get to celebrate. And uh, you know, if you don't have a chance to visit the nearest cantina, then at least. <laughs> Watch, watch, one of movies or watch one of the shows or, yeah, do something to celebrate. That's right. At least, uh, you know, wield a lightsaber probably somewhere. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, may you guys play more games. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. <laughs>